our project, we emphasize with our partner, which is the council, to actually humanely catch, humanly transport, and humanely shelter the dogs temporarily. We don't allow them to use the lasso catch pole method where it causes harm to them. The humane catching is actually using the net together with the carrier where the dogs are caught inside the net and transfer it into the transport carrier to transfer back to the dog pound. So it is all done very humanely and the council themselves also do use track catch. I'm Ms. Chung from Ayatwa Penang. I'm the founder and president of Ayatwa Penang. We are not a shelter. We are not a rescue. IAPWA Penang is an NGO that we founded in 2017 with the purpose of carrying out and implement this trap neuter and release humanely and effectively with the council in Penang Island only. In our project, we are very proud to say that it has been more than five and a half years that zero dogs has been put down or killed by the council in Penang. One of the council in one of the states actually told us that when he came to visit us, he purposely came earlier, drive around Penang Island for many miles to try to look for stray dogs and he couldn't spot one. He told us that if I go to his place, every two to three hundred meters, I would probably be able to see two or three dogs. That is the difference between Penang Island and the other places that don't carry out track neuter and release project. There is no single NGOs, no single authorities or no single individuals that can actually solve these problems. And we need collaboration between all parties with mainly the councils and the NGOs and the public to come together to solve these generations and generations of problems. We are always open to other states and other NGOs, other councils to come and learn from our project. This is the best chance chance to end the killing and to do something totally different for our stress in Penang and hopefully one day in Malaysia. Adopt and don't shop. One more adopted, one less on the streets.